Hello there and welcome to my channel. This is Non Gone. We're playing Final Fantasy VII Remake. This is uh, part seven in the playlist. It's chapter six of a uh, complete hard mode playthrough. Uh, and we're calling it a stay bad playthrough. So we're going to do all this without getting good. Uh, basically what that means is we're going to ignore as many of the mechanics as we can. We'll be dodging nothing. We'll be blocking nothing. We'll be casting almost no magic. Uh, we'll be using almost none of the cool little uh, ATB materia type, you know, chakra, prayer, ATB assist, ATB stagger, all these cool things that the game offers you to make this easier. We're not using any of it. We're loading ourselves up for HP and defense so we can uh, withstand almost all of the attacks. And then we are loading ourselves up with strength um, so that we can just hit everything with our sword until it dies. Uh, it's not the most elegant way, but what we lack in talent, we'll make up for in persistence. And here we go. Uh, one quick note about loadouts. I'll put the loadouts in the description. Um, but basically, materia is going to be uh, as follows. I'll show you right here. So we equipped um, the weapons with the hardest, the highest physical attack stat, which is hard edge, EKG cannon, and Fertifa metal knuckles, I believe. Everybody gets uh, two HP ups and two MP ups and some kind of summon. They all get one offensive magic attached to an elemental. If you can, there's only two elementals, so Cloud and Barrett get them. Attacked on, attached on their weapon, the choice of that magic is going to be or that materia is going to be whatever the most of the enemies are weak to in this game anything mechanical is usually weak to lightning anything human is usually weak to fire so that's what we pick um i'm thinking most of the enemies are mechanical this time so we're going to go lightning uh, on the bottom everyone gets healing and revive and then first strike if we got it uh, i've made this so simple that uh everybody has that and nothing else so there's actually some holes that you can put whatever you want in there. It doesn't matter to me. I figure it'll just make it that much easier for you. We've also uh, gotten some SP at this point to upgrade our weapons. Um, you see Cloud's got about 22, Barrett's 24, Tifa 14. That is because we've been beating bosses in hard mode, which will get you more manuals. Um, unless I need, absolutely need to, I'm going to leave it like it is. The weapon upgrades from the first chapter are going to be the same throughout the playthrough. There's a possibility in chapter 17 that I'll have to go back on my word. You got to fight about four boss battles in a row, I think. And that extra oomph and a thickness you might get from that extra SP in upgrading your weapons might make a difference. But we were able to beat the top secrets challenge with this loadout. Uh, I think we can beat pretty much anything else that it's throwing at us. Another quick note, these Shinra boxes over here um, and scattered throughout, some of them have MP shards in them. They're the only way, aside from beating a chapter, to get back MP. So in hard mode, you really want to conserve that. With this loadout, we don't have to. We have the Gatradamarung equipped on Cloud, which allows you to start every battle with your limit break and also like triples quadruples something the rate at which that limit break charges so you basically get to use your limit break and uh most battles are over before anyone even gets to attack you uh, or maybe they get like one attack in so really simple a lot of physical a lot of just slashing with your sword which is what i like to do um again you had to play an entire playthrough to even get to hard mode so if you're playing this you can use whatever you've learned up to this point maybe it's nothing maybe you just use my loadout and uh finish it that way um but if you have additional skills that you've gained you can add them to this and make it that much easier on yourself uh, anyway, um, chapter six, aside from getting lost every once in a while, is pretty much a bunch of little battles. There's not even really a true boss battle. Um, so I'm mostly just going to step out with the commentary and let the game play itself uh, or let you watch it as it plays out. Um, there's not much strategy that hasn't been discussed in earlier chapters. Again, start every battle with your limit break. Uh, follow up with a triple slash with Cloud. He's got ATB because the first strike. Uh, if you want to use Barrett, you want to hit triangle right off the bat, use your overcharge, switch to maximum fury. Also, he's your own, own ranged character, your only ranged character. So when you're fighting these uh, sentry guys, the little guns up in the corner, uh, you'll have to use him. So do that. Uh, Tifa, just punch until you could get star shower and then use that. 
Um, that's the basic strategy. Uh, if it's a really tough battle, you can put regen on yourself um, and then cure as needed. Tifa's got magnify on her. Um, sorry, I didn't know where I was going there. Like I said, easy to get lost in this chapter, so bear with me. Uh, Tifa's got magnify on her healing materia uh, linked to it, so every time she casts Cure or Regen, it will apply to the entire party, so you can do it with one. Good way to save MP. Not going to be a problem in this. The problem is getting through the maze without getting lost. So, uh, again, as I promised or threatened a few minutes ago, I'm going to step back and uh, just fight my way through here, and I'll pick up towards the end of the chapter. All right. Stay bad, people. Take a moment to get our bearings. We're still in G. Yeah, and to reach my Okay. Unfortunately. Well, go for ten. The only other route that I can think of would be. So we're shooting for those giant fans way over there. Those ventilation fans? Keeping the plates air clean by pushing the smog into the smog. Whole system designed. Shit goes down real fast. Onto that pipe. Sure seems that way. No fear, no fear. Yeah, no fear. No fear. No fear. Fear. No fear. Little fear. Hey, 
guys. You chickening out? Hell no! I'm just working. Enough! Okay then. Follow me. <laughs> no worse than a windy day, huh? One with a tornado warning, maybe? Don't look at the fan. Whatever you do. Right. One piece. <sighs> Think that took a couple years off my life. <clears throat> uh, I mean, uh, not really. A couple seconds, maybe. Three tops. <laughs> Section H is just up ahead. Slow and steady, guys. And that's our objective? The cargo platform? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the one. This is it. By the light of these magnificent lamps, we shall lead our brothers and sisters of the Undercity to a brighter future. Say what? It's from a speech President Shinra gave, talking up the importance of the sun lamps. <laughs> brighter future, my ass. Shinra's leading us down a one-way path to darkness and death. Three lights worth of power. Piece of cake right here. <laughs> if only. You're out of luck. Those gloves up. Just sure made our lives a lot harder. We restored power to more than just security. Remember? Engaging You're good at this. <laughs> Told you so. Error. Insufficient power. Gotta power down a sun lamp first. Can move this catwalk. Yeah, lined it up perfect. Which way to the next light? <laughs> <laughs> 
If we can't make sense of this place, we're gonna get lost. Well, at least we know where the big ass things are. Deal with that. All right, watch and learn. Y'all done did it now. Up a good sweat. Check them out sometime? I can show you around. We'll check them out now, you fall! You think he'll miss those three plate suns? I say the real sun's the only one we need. To hell with Shinra and their nightlife! Right back where we started. Hmm. Where was that last light again? Almost done. It's a shame and I did just want to jump in here and apologize if I'm making anyone dizzy. It's very easy to get lost here, and uh, sometimes spinning around like that really helps you get your bearings. Um, it's been about a month since I played this the last time, so I'm not a hundred percent. Uh, knowledgeable about when to take a left and when to take a right so again I'm sorry if uh, if I'm moving moving the camera a little too much um, just kind of keep going until you recognize places you've been before and eventually you'll get there we're just trying to uh, shut down those three lamps so you know as these puzzles increase in difficulty you know you're moving forward so uh, this is the third lamp, and then we'll go back and uh, ride the big elevator over to the end of the chapter. Um, but I did just want to jump in and apologize if, uh, if the camera was a little crazy there. And if you found me going around in circles a little too much for your liking, uh, I do apologize for that. Uh, it's, these platforms all look the same. It's real easy to get turned around. So uh, hopefully don't do that, and I'll see you in a little bit.
Utility Power Supply Cargo Platform Activated <laughs> So long, Underplate! I wonder what the reactor is like. Dumb. This one. A slaughterhouse where they put to the plant. All right, so believe it or not, this is the boss battle right here. Um, I don't really have much to say beyond that. It's uh, six drones. They're all weak against lightning. Uh, you will hopefully be able to shred them pretty good, unless you do something stupid like that. Um, maximum Fury alone will probably, uh, you see, one Maximum Fury will take out, like, uh, two of any of the six, so... So that's where we're at. I think we're already down to... Oh, he's not quite there yet, so... So that's, uh, five of them are dead, I think. And Star Shower. Let's go ahead and do... Uh, you know, these things don't move. Might as well use Infinity's End. It does the most damage, but you see how long it takes to load up. So do that on stationary enemies only. Anyway, welcome to... That was the boss battle for Chapter 6. Uh, sorry, it wasn't a little more climactic, but, you know, I guess it works out. And we're going to come in here and do a little bit of walking around, and that'll be the end of the chapter. So I think I'm just going to keep talking for a little bit. Again, while we're talking here, I would like to thank all of my subscribers thus far. Uh, it's been really cool. I've always wanted to do um, some YouTube videos, and I finally got the courage up. Uh, I've had some family members that are tech savvy help me out with equipment, and I appreciate that greatly as well. You know who I'm talking about. I'm looking at you, brother-in-law. Um, I've got somebody upstairs who's being unbelievably, incredibly quiet so that I can record this. And you know who I'm, uh, you know who I'm looking at. I'm looking at you, significant other. Uh, she's great. Um, been my better half for like 15 years now, best 15 years of my life. So, uh, anyway, shout out to all those, all those people and everyone else who has helped me out subscribing. And I think... That's about all I have to say. That was it for Chapter 6. You see we got the completed Chapter 6 on hard difficulty. So we'll be uh, picking this up in the next video with Chapter 7. In the meantime, stay bad, people. Non-gone is gone.